going to take a little bit of time because the grid sheets come out in uh, different to what's actually going on the racetrack. We are trying to tidy this up. MNZ rules, I think, say four across the front row, uh, but they've got it marked out for five. But right now on pole position there is Braden Stanchiel on the 284 machine. He qualified fastest. Finn Henstock there on the 199 machine. Then we go across to Graham Kite, Tim Swainson, and James Law. That's the front row as they get off there, and I didn't get a chance to actually write down whose colours were who there to try and pick out uh, that, so sorry about that, folks. All we want to try to do is uh, write down a bit about the uh, costumes and the colours of the riders, so uh, at least then I can commentate because uh, no number boards on the sides. Uh, it's, yeah, that's life anyway. I'm used to doing the super bikes and, uh, and all the big street races, and you get used to the riders. You see them again and again and work out the colour schemes of the bike. But already, look at that. That's a substantial lead there. We had this in the uh, last race as well with... Uh, Young Jack Inwood from Taipei getting out in the front by quite a distance, same sort of a distance, but that's a hell of a lead there. There must be some fairly good tuning going on there. Uh, 73 to 84 kilogram uh, weight is the, uh, is, I guess that's the rider's weight, I don't know. It would be rider and bike combined. Somebody might uh, be able to tell me, but that's uh, a decent lead out in the front. We've got the next two bikes there, that red and white one I recognise from coming off about the second or third row of the uh, grid there but didn't quite catch up the name. So uh, hopefully once we come across onto the start finish line, we'll get an idea of uh, who's who out there on the track there. But in pole position it was, as oh, I've gone through the top five there. Well, let's go to six. It's number 50, Jack Water, then Julian Eid, Brendan Ingram, uh, and Thomas Brown, and Shaden Couts there in uh, second. That's the second row tidied up there. So right now, somehow we've got Braden Stanchel's gone through there. We must have had a pit lane starter there come out there because they are substantially slower there. But Braden Stanchel there, uh, putting in a 126. He's 11 seconds quicker than Finn Henstock there in second place. And uh, Braden is from the uh, Tararua College in uh, Pahir Tour. Finn Henstock is a GBHS Gisborne Wow, that's a long way to come for this. Right, Gisborne, see, see a couple of the riders there. James Law as well from the uh, Gisborne Boys High School. So uh, great to see them uh, from so far away. So it was Braden Stanchel, Finn Henstock, Shaden Calx, Thomas Brown on the number 34 machine, uh, followed by uh, Tiger Honey. Tiger Honey there, Sasha Drain, Tim Swainson, Julie um, Ed, Ed, sorry, Brendan Ingram and Matthew Colliver there with her bike going very very slowly through the infield and uh with the blue jacket on there they're uh we're off to the side of the street at the moment but uh probably needs to think about uh, pulling off if they're that substantially slow because uh, there's some not substantive <laughs> extremely fast bikes out there but uh anyway i'll let the management talk about that the white flag is out for the last rider coming through and here comes Braden Stanchel. his last lap time was a 126 159 now remember that is a uh, standing start so already rocketed around there in a 122.770. Now I'm interested in this, the bikes are uh, air-cooled standards, the same as the class before, the weights are 10 kilograms heavier, 62 to 72 for the last class, 73 to 84, uh, yet just 0.3 of a second between them so uh, imagine how quick this bike of uh, Braden Stench will be on if he uh, put a uh, a 62 to 72 kilo rider on board. So there it is, the win for Stanchel. Finn Henstock on the 199 machine here in second place. 58 is uh, 58 is Shaden Calks, Brendan Ingram, Thomas Brown, and Tiger Honey. Around up the uh, top six, Tiger Honey riding the uh, 347 machine. 702, Sasha Drain and uh, Julian E. there go through in seventh and eighth with Tim Swainson and Matthew Colliver. Um, Newmark RC Direct, NRCD uh, sponsors of this class and I think I, uh, I uh, had a look at that and that's the engine that powers a, a substantial amount of the machines here at the uh, 2017 Mini Moto Grand Prix. Right folks, we're going to put you over to a bit of radio and uh, I'll catch up with the